Good morning everyone Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel Today's video is gonna be a little bit different I thought it would be a good video idea to kind of like take you through a day in a life with type 1 diabetes So that's what I'm gonna do I was diagnosed in August of 2022 So it's rather new I just want to film this video because I know like when I watch videos like this, it helps me feel less alone. So I hope it makes someone else feel less alone as well. And also I feel like showing people how type 1 diabetes is and like the struggle of it, it's not something you can just fix by eating no sugar, no carbs. It's a lifelong disease, no cure for it. You need insulin to survive, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna go through my day, kind of like show what I eat and just like talk about it. It's seven in the morning. That's why I'm not so like jumpy and cheery. I'm gonna eat breakfast. Normally when I wake up, I don't know what I wanna eat really. That's always like the hardest part because I have to take insulin before I eat. And right now I'm still on pens insulin pens because I just started taking insulin so I haven't started on a pump yet but hopefully this year I will be on a pump go on a pump and a pump is just like a device that is on your body for like three days and it just like gives you insulin so you don't have to give yourself shots as much so let's get started I woke up kind of high but i was steady all throughout the night something i'm mentioning is today i'm actually starting on long acting insulin which will help with my higher blood sugars throughout the night and like throughout the day um, long acting insulin just like slowly gives you insulin over the course of i don't know how long but and right now i'm only taking fast acting so that's just like right before meals so like 15 to 30 minutes before a meal i'll take it and it acts faster it only stays in my system for like four hours but i still need to figure out what i'm gonna have for breakfast so then i can take insulin for it so once i figure that out i i'll let you know okay so i'm gonna have 50 carbs my bed is still not made so just ignore that i'm like literally almost out of it i'm like i only have a tiny bit of insulin left so sad yeah this is literally what i do every single morning every single time that i want to eat something no matter what it is unless it's like doesn't have any carbs set a timer for 20 minutes so I just gave myself the shot so while I'm waiting for like the 20 minutes until I can eat I normally just like make my bed and just like clean up a little bit and then and then I make breakfast so so let me just make my bed really quick and then I'll then I'll call you back okay bed is made but while i'm waiting until i can make my breakfast i want to talk a little bit about just diabetes and like my diagnosis i guess i got diagnosed in august of 2022 it was actually when i returned from an italy trip i ate lots of pasta lots of gelato carbs <laughs> that's all i ever ate i would feel like really sick after everything that i ate and this would happen for like even before i went to italy obviously because it's like for me it was slowly progressing originally i got diagnosed with lata which is latent autoimmune disease in adults which is literally like slowly progressing type 1 diabetes i didn't go into like dka which is diabetic ketoacidosis that did not happen the doctors just like caught it early that i have less i think they're like beta cells pretty much they caught it early they saw the signs that my pancreas was already attacking the insulin cells yeah so that's kind of what happened i started just with like managing my diet which meant like counting my carbs and like eating only like a certain amount of carbs for like two years until i started insulin a few months ago i'm gonna start making my breakfast because i only have 12 minutes left it was a little bit of a wonky experience if you ask me it's been like a whole life change like i am literally living as an organ an organ that uh, my body is supposed to be doing like i don't know why my body had to do me like that this is the granola i'm using it's pretty good it has protein so i'm gonna put in some blueberries as well i'm making like a little yogurt bowl but i do want to preface this and say that type 1 diabetes and type 
2 diabetes are completely different because type 2 is something that can be reversed with diet and exercise. Type 1 literally cannot be reversed. I just wanted to be more open to about this. I haven't really talked about it on my channel just because like people have different opinions about it and I I like to avoid conflict. This disease is a part of my life so I might as well just add it into my videos. Okay so for breakfast I'm having peanut butter toast with a little yogurt bowl. Yummy! I have to leave soon for work, so I'm going to eat this and I will report back later. So I'm about to leave for work. I'm just gonna pack a little snack. Um, I got these banana muffins yesterday. They're only 10 carbs each. So I'm gonna bring one of these. I'm gonna go to work now. Um, and I'll get, I guess I'll report back when I eat lunch and just, I don't know. So I just got home from work and I'm gonna eat lunch. <laughs> for lunch, I've been having like the same thing for the past two weeks. I feel like it's so annoying as someone who is someone who is still a kind of a beginner to taking insulin. When I like give injections in public, I always get such weird looks and it's so annoying. Mind your business. I mean like people can easily ask me like, oh, what's that for? Instead of just like looking at me weird. <laughs> Um, I'm getting used to it. It's not gonna stop me from injecting in public, but um, okay, so for lunch I'm gonna have a turkey sandwich with I'm gonna look at my fridge with cottage cheese for more protein I'm also gonna have some olives because I love green olives spinach cheese Avocado and then I also love snacking on carrots carrots are my favorite thing ever lunch is gonna be 30 carbs I literally have like almost 10 units left in this pen, but I'm making it last until the very last drop. I'm gonna do three units. Three units? I actually had a dream last night, which is kind of crazy, that I went to the pharmacy to pick up more insulin and the pharmacist was like, I'm sorry, there's a national shortage on insulin, which there is right now. I couldn't pick up my insulin. I was very stressed out in my dream last night. I just have like this little bag for my insulin, which I'm gonna get a different bag so that I can carry more stuff but I just keep my needles, pen, and some Smarties for my lows. I'm gonna make my lunch. It's gonna be really yummy and then I have to go pick up my prescription for more supplies, my long-acting insulin. My blood sugar right now is 128 and dropping so I went pretty high after breakfast which is rather frustrating I think I'm just like very sensitive in the morning honestly no matter what I eat I go high acting i've never used this before but i don't know why they only gave me one pen i only have 28 days and i also got insulin needles that go onto the pen let's see what, what my blood sugar is i was starting to go low now i'm back up to 140 well i'm gonna do some work sometimes i have a snack like after lunch but Honestly, I'm not hungry. I'm still pretty full from lunch, so I guess I'll see you at dinner time. I feel like this vlog is kind of boring, but like I'm not really doing anything. The only crazy thing was picking up my prescription. Hi everyone. So it's a few hours later and it is dinner time now. I feel like I've been filming in the same spot like all day. I'm gonna have breakfast for dinner. I've been having this for like also the past two weeks. I find like a, a meal that I like and then I just keep eating it. So that's why. It's gonna be about 60 carbs. I'm injecting cold insulin, so. Okay, so I was just stacking on more carrots because I don't know why I'm so obsessed with carrots. It's kind of weird. I'll show you what I am making. So I'm just using these Middle Eastern flatbreads from Trader Joe's. And then I do two eggs, a little bit of shredded cheese. I normally put avocado, but I don't have any. I do some of this cheddar, 
chicken sausage, also from Trader Joe's. Mix it around a little bit. This sausage is actually really good. I'm gonna just add in some of my eggs. I have my tortillas here, or flatbread. So good. I have been literally exhausted all day today. Dude, I'm just saying, like, this stuff is literally what brings me joy. Like, this brings me literal joy. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this, watch some Netflix or something. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> the lighting is so bad right now. I'm using my light flashlight, <laughs> my phone flashlight. So I'm taking my long acting insulin now. Um, it's actually a paid actor because I'm filming this video on the day that I started taking this long acting insulin. So after 15 minutes of me panicking that something was wrong with my pen, I got it to work. It was just a, it was just a bad um, needle. But anyways, my blood sugar at 153 i dosed correctly for dinner i don't know i had a i had a good day living with diabetes is honestly like the most challenging thing i definitely want to do more videos like this i'm gonna journal a bit before i call it a night and hopefully go to sleep by 9 30. i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something about diabetes thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you in the next one Peace.